Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Zenith El Primero Captain Chronograph. You can see and you can purchase this 42mm stainless steel El Primero high beat chronograph on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this classical tri-register El Primero chronograph. The watch on my wrist represents what I like to call the perfect watch. Aesthetically beautiful, versatile, it wears well with anything, it has history, it has substance, it has style, and that is not a given with Zenith's history, we've often talked about its movements. There are very few designs that have stood the test of time for even so much as a half decade. This watch, now approaching a decade as essentially a set, fixed, and universally loved style, is an important entry in the modern canon of the Zenith manufacturer. Now you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This familiar form is 42 millimeters across the round of the case, not including the crown. In terms of thickness, the the watch is fairly slim at 12.4 millimeters thick, but you can see with the nicely sloped bezel and sapphire, the watch does wear thinner, allowing a dress cuff to ride up over the side with ease. From lug to lug, it's not as massive as it looks. It has impressive wrist presence, but it's 50 millimeter from extremity to extremity, meaning on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it wears fine. I would say down to 14 and a half centimeters, you're going to wear it with good security and style. Now, the watch features nice shapely but not excessively long lugs. You can see they have strong character lines by virtue of the bevels and the creases as well as the contrasting finish of satin on top, polish on the flank, and they flow seamlessly into a substantial black rectangular scale alligator leather strap with sheer sides, a monotone stitch, and what I always like to call out with contemporary Zenith straps, the rubber inlay on the bottom instead of calfskin, effectively isolating the leather from the sweat, heat, and oils of the wrist for longer wearing durability of the strap, as well as greater souplesse and softness against the skin. The clasp is substantial and thoughtfully designed with the swing arm of one side acting as the spring for the twin trigger release. And you can see double deployant, it's not inclined to pinch a smaller wrist. Fully finished too, it's all of high polish and very attractive. I like to see this because it's an upscale refinement on a luxury watch. It's something I expect, frankly, to add security, value, and show that the details were sweated. Now you can see the case is quite handsome, quite simple, but its economy of line is combined with deft strokes of the pen of the artist. As you can see, it's hard to improve on this. There's no need to. It makes do with a little and generates a lot of beauty. And part of the logic behind this watch is to minimize the case and the bezel. They fall away and the dial is expanded almost to the extremes of the case. Big, black, and beautiful. The contrast is outstanding with white on black print and you can see applied and diamond polished indices. This is a luminescent dial so it's got a little bit of a sports watch sensibility about its legibility in any light. The large trapeze style hands at center are easy to read and you'll note that the sub registers constant seconds at three and the chronograph minute, or rather I should say constant seconds at nine, chronograph minutes at three, dominate the dial with the hour register for the chronograph minimally expressed, creating a little bit of a dual register aesthetic. So it's got a little bit of a nod and a wink to vintage enthusiasts inherent in it. If you're gonna have a date on a watch, it's best to place it at center at six to balance the dial. And you can see the dial does have beautiful bilateral symmetry. You'll also note thoughtful additions such as this little kerf right next to the crown that makes it easier to dig in your nail, pull the crown for adjustments, and the vintage style lozenge or rectangular pushers. Again, a nod to Zenith's history, and in this instance, pre-El Primero history. If nothing else, they have respect for tradition in Laloque. And you'll see that continues on the back as the Zenith Caliber 400 one of the latest iterations of the El Primero, features the curious finishing traditions of the manufacturer. Yes, you have a skeletonized rotor with linear Cote de Genève, but you'll note that there are no Cote de Genève on the bridges and the balance cock, rather a tight engine-turned perlage, a feature generally seen on the main plate. Now, you'll also note there are two types of screws here. This is another Zenith tradition. Blued screws are those that relate to the adjustment of the mechanism, the base caliber and the chronograph components, and the polished screws are used to denote assembly screws. Now you can see a beautiful 
array of silvers, golds, cobalt blue of heat blued kiln fired screws, and the violet of the pivot jewels. It's a beautiful automatic chronograph caliber, and that's a rarity as most automatic chronograph calibers are rather plain to look at. With Zenith, you feel as though you're gazing into a jungle of machinery. Now, you'll also note that it is a column wheel chronograph, and I may as well demonstrate what that means in practice. The column wheel, a crisp traditional system that interacts with the levers controlling the actual chronograph mechanism, you can see the levers and the crenellated wheel. That's a column wheel. It's crisp to operate. It's satisfying under the finger, and you'll note when stopped, there is a big and beautiful, there it is, a big and beautiful lateral yoke so you can see the traditional horizontal clutch. It's more beautiful than a vertical clutch even if it's slightly less efficient. Trust me, it's better to have beauty, especially in the realm of the impractical, which a mechanical watch certainly is. Automatic winding with a 52 hour power reserve, this is, like I said, quite close to the ultimate watch. Versatile stainless steel, historically significant from a great manufacturer with a timeless style. You can see and you can purchase this Zenith El Primero on our website.